गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम इजिप्ट कायरो वी आर हियर एट द इजिप्शियन डिफेंस एक्सपो 2023 एंड आई एम हियर एट आवर ओल्ड फ्रेंड बोइंग स्टैंड स्टॉल इट्स वंडरफुल टू बी हियर एंड सीइंग बोइंग इट इज फुल स्ट्रेंथ हियर एंड वी हैव विद अस विंस लॉक्सन हु इज द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ग्लोबल बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट डिफेंस स्पेस एंड सिक्योरिटी and global services for boeing welcome wins to adu's chat room wonderful to have you here thank you good to see you and the fact that we are meeting at uh, cairo is just uh, great uh, we are in a region which is supposed to be a high growth region for all the manufacturers in the world and uh, how does it feel to be here and what do you expect out of the show the next 3 days we are going to have here well it's great to be back in cairo Uh, it's been a while since I've been in Egypt. Um it's my first EDX, however. So, um although I've been here many, many times, uh, both in my Air Force days and uh and uh, as an industry member, uh this is my first time at EDX and it's very exciting to be here. So, uh we've got a lot going on uh currently uh in Egypt. You know, uh Egypt, we've got a relationship Boeing wise for uh 6 decades. And also 60 years we've been working closely together. It's been a great relationship. Uh as far as our defense side, it's been over a 40-year relationship. That started back in the 1970s with the F4. That was our first sale uh into Egypt and it's been a great relationship ever since. Currently what's going on is uh we are really happy that we've been entrusted uh with the sale of the Chinook our heavy lift helicopter as well as our Apache we're uh, remanning our Apache uh, aircraft right now uh in the in the um uh, in the attack helicopter business so uh, very exciting time for us here uh, in at the show other things that we're showcasing here at the show is um our T7 which is our newest trainer which is a very exciting project we're working on um we've also got the KC46 that we're talking about uh which is uh the new tanker and we're very excited about that and also our F15 which we just flew the F15 in Dubai you may remember that at yes. the show and uh we're here to talk about the F15 as well and then we brought our in situ products as well with us which are unmanned uh, aircraft systems and we're happy to showcase them and uh, when we speak of egypt we also speak of the region so uh, which are the countries in the region where you already have your presence and which are your uh, you know now targets for uh, getting them into the boeing family sure well you know we talk about a relationship again and our relationship in the region goes goes way back to it goes all the way back to 1945 So we've been uh, very busy in the region. We it's a, always been an important region and continues to be important for us. Um we've established actually regional offices around the area. So we've got them in uh Riyadh, Dubai, we're in Abu Dhabi as well, um Doha, uh Tel Aviv and Kuwait. So we're we're throughout the region. Um and it's that important to us that we've got uh uh infrastructure here and and people here. Um So we've got lots of platforms that uh we've sold throughout to our international partners um on the vertical lift side we've got our apache aircraft uh in kuwait we've got them in uh, morocco egypt saudi arabia uae israel uh and even qatar um and then we have our shanuk which is a fantastic heavy lift helicopter uh in turkey kuwait morocco egypt saudi arabia UAE and Qatar as well. Um and then we have our AH6 which we call Little Bird which we have in Saudi Arabia. Um and then our our fighter front, we've got our F18s in, in Kuwait and we've got our F15s in Saudi Arabia, Israel and Qatar as well. Um so those are the the major ones. I I guess we could talk about our mobility uh surveillance and bomber systems. So we've got our KC-135s, our tanker, our legacy tanker uh in Saudi Arabia. C17s in Kuwait, UAE and Qatar and E7 uh we actually have in Turkey as well which is uh which is exciting for us. So those are the major ones. And uh, because uh, geographically uh, Egypt is in Africa and there are a lot of African countries nearby 
so what what do you envisage for them you know is there a market you find is there in that in those african countries you got a lot of them sudan ethiopia tanzania zambia kenya a lot of them so uh, are they potential buyers for you yeah yes so i think potentially africa is a market that we're very very interested in we're taking a harder look at at africa as it grows uh, it's been good to see all the different countries here as we're progressing through the show it's been nice to see um, and very welcome to see a lot of interest in our products uh, moving forward so yeah we we see it as a growing market and something we're paying uh, very close attention to and from the traditional we were speaking of unmanned systems is there a change uh, you are observing uh, in the unmanned system uh, demand in the region i think we're seeing that demand everywhere right but uh, certainly in the region um, it provides a lot of capability uh, at a fair price um, so we we see much more demand for that as as we move forward our in situ products uh, that we have on display here at the show our products that we're seeing a tremendous amount of interest uh, not only here in Egypt not only in the region uh, but we're starting to see much more interest in the continent of Africa as well okay and uh, you also have products for the navies of the world just uh, do the navies of this area attract your attention uh the navies of the middle east area uh yeah absolutely um so uh we have interest in our P8 uh which you're probably very familiar with that's one of our our probably our major uh navy program that that we see interest in and then depending on who operates the unmanned aircraft systems we go back to our family of these two products as well and also uh, do you see a market in the african per se countries the actual african countries which are not part of the middle east but a part of africa do you see them as a market for pti and uh, f18 potentially potentially right now i would say i would say it's it is potential at this point but we're certainly uh, happy to uh, talk to anybody who wants to discuss the pti as a fantastic platform and a tremendous capability all right and uh, now that we are you know here in egypt and we have four days of a lot of business in front of us uh, what do you envisage do you en- envisage a situation where you get off the shelf orders or you have some countries you feel would have a program like we have in make in india so you become a part of the strategic partnership so you, is there some talk about these sort of things from this region always right i mean as yes. Boeing is a global company and as we even become more global part of that is uh, becoming a part of the infrastructure of, of a country that wants to uh, align with us and partner with us in not only owning those products but becoming a part of this infrastructure itself so uh, we take that very seriously and we spend a lot of time talking not only in this region but everywhere about how we can better partner uh, with our customers to make sure that uh, that they're a, that they're a part of the capability okay. not just a purchaser all right right absolutely so thank you so much vince it was wonderful speaking with you this is day 1 and i'm sure as and when the progress in the show goes on we'll see a lot more and when i speak to you next i'm sure you have a lot more to tell me about it's always great to see you thank you thank you very much